Hello, welcome to the Alistair Watkins Show. I'm Mr. Alistair Watkins himself, and this here is Brett Thompson. Brett Thompson. Alrighty. So, today we'll talk to uh, Brett Thompson here. You can let go now. We talk to Brett Thompson here about uh, one of his jobs that he's had as a school guidance counselor. Yes, the little kids, they do need a lot of guidance, if you know what I mean. You probably do. It's fairly straightforward. And Brett thinks that he's the man to provide that sort of guidance. So, uh, what has your education been like? Do you have to have some well, sort of doctorate really, degree? Well, when, when you go in to be a school guidance counselor, all you have to do is convince the principal that you have a degree. See? Yeah. Yeah, that's, all, that's about all it takes. I have this nice little uh, thing that I printed off at, uh, at uh, Kinko's, and it's my diploma. Okay. Yes, it's very professional looking. It's signed by me. Yeah. So, big scraggly font. I've always been told that laminating something always makes it look more professional too. Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, where did you actually work? Well, there was this little high school in the middle of, uh, in the middle of Iowa. Yeah, and uh, it was St. Luther's Memorial High School. Okay. Yeah. It's actually not in the middle of a town. It's uh, 30 miles from the closest town. I didn't know Luther was a saint. I thought he was considered a heretic by the church. No, no, no. Different guy. Totally different guy. This is Saint okay. Luther. He made automobiles in the 19th century. Okay. So, this, uh, this school. About how many people go there? Well, there were about 40. Yeah. 40 people. Well... 40 people. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, uh, you know, for, for a, uh, a private high school that no one's ever heard of, I suppose 40 is pretty good. So... <clears throat> What what is some of the guidance that that uh, these forty students most often need? Oh, I, I remember this one time. This kid came in and he had gotten an F on the test, and uh, he was actually contemplating killing himself. And so uh, how did you help him out? Well, he was going to use uh, his father's gun, but I told him that that was just not the right way of doing it. I mean, if you're going to kill yourself, wait until you're much older. I mean, seriously, then you can actually go out with a bang, right? So, uh, he decided not to kill himself. It was really a win for the team. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for the next uh, 40 years or so to hear about him uh, jumping off a bridge or something. Yeah. I really changed his life. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Um, so, th this kind of counseling, um, did, how long did you work there? Well, I worked there about six months, and then the, uh, the principal was on to me, discovered I didn't actually have a diploma, and kicked me out. But that was before this one girl, uh, Susie Goldsmith. Ah, wow. Uh, <laughs> Let yeah. me tell you. She Are had you like this to... big lump on her head like this. She was trying to figure out a career. She wanted to be like a doctor or possibly a lawyer, maybe like an artist. She was a good artist too. But really with that lump on her head like this, she, she probably should have gone into the, the circus. And that's what I told her. She's probably working in a sideshow right now. Uh, you can probably see her online if you just look it up. I mean, that's Susie Goldsmith. G-O-L-D-S-M-I-T-H. <coughs> isn't there some sort of law of confidence? Oh, probably. Wait, you didn't actually... Never mind. Yeah, so... Uh, okay. It was good times. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, this, this, this school, do you suppose they're, they're better off now that, uh, that you've had your six months there? Brian Rodriguez. Now, that was a cool kid. <laughs> he was the only Hispanic in the entire school, and uh, his parents were both white. I had to counsel him a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the the school, um, I did, like I I don't know how many occupations you've had, but was that a side job or was that full time? I mean, forty students oh, doesn't man. seem like it could be a full time job. Daniel Hawthorne. Now there was a screwed up kid. Oh man. He came into my office this one day, and he was looking for a girlfriend, and I'm like, you're in the wrong place, buddy. And he was like, what? And so I just talked to him for like an hour and a half, and then I asked him on a date. 
<clears throat> yeah, just to make him feel better. But uh, he didn't accept, so. Okay, um, I think that's all the time we have for today. Um, thank you very much, Brett Thompson, for joining us today. Um, I guess we'll be seeing you again next week unless we find someone else that's had an occupation ever. Well, thank you for watching the Alistair Watkins show. Goodbye. Yeah, maybe you can come to my office.